Jamie, thanks for inviting me to your studio. It's really great to have you on my show. Thank you. Great to have you here. Okay. Now, first of all, tell me about your style of photography and the type of work you really love to do. Well, um, I'm a portrait photographer, yep. and I specialize in sports portraits, um, mainly athletes like the Yankees, NASCAR, um, the Rangers, and the Knicks. That's got to be fun. It is fun. It is good. Okay, when it comes to photography, what would you say you're most passionate about? Um, I'm most passionate about getting a look out of these athletes as everyone has seen every day of their life and getting a certain look or feeling that they've never seen before. Okay, so let's look at how you do that. So when it comes okay. to getting a shot, even before you get the shot, what are some of the key things you use every time you pick up a camera? I make sure that my trick, I have a little trick before I take these guys. I only have them for a few minutes um, and I make them pose, but my goal is to shoot them in between poses. And that is how I capture their most relaxed, uninhibited, um, caught off guard look. So I'll tell them to pose in a perfect way, you know, to aim towards the light. And then I'll say smile and they'll smile. And then I'll say, can you fix your hair? Can you adjust your shirt? And at that split moment, they're not, you know, uh, stiff, you know, they're, they look down, they right. get, a, they have an expression and I capture that. So it's in between, I obviously shoot the poses, but it's in between the poses that I'm really looking for. And that really gets their personality out. The, the, the smile in between, the embarrassment, the, you know, fixing of the hair, and it's, that's where, that's where everything is. Because, you know, if you think about it, if I have them for five minutes and I just make them smile, it's not their personality it doesn't come out. It looks awkward, it, you know, which is very much like a lot of the other pictures you might see. But for mine, I'm really trying to capture their personality and their ease and, and their good looks. So that's my trick. That's great. That's a good one. <laughs> well, along those lines, so our viewers, everybody's shooting some kind of sports picture, mm -hmm. even if it's just their kids. Right. So how, what would you say would be a good tip for them? Well, always shoot close never shoot wide and um, there is another trick but if, you, if you're able to get into the manual area of your camera if you shoot at 2.8 f-stop it'll throw the background out of focus and that'll just automatically make your picture look a little more professional right so that so that's that that's my main trick if you get close sort of shoot this way or do you know if you're shooting someone with a bat then you know shoot waist up and then if you can manually figure out how to put 2.8 on your camera, then everything just looks a lot crisper and professional. That's also a good trick. Cool. Can you walk us through a step-by-step -step of how you approach a shoot? Uh, okay. Well, I figure out the kind of look that we want. So we either build a set or with the professional athletes, you're given a lot of limitations. You're only allowed to shoot in one place. You can't take them out of the place. Um, so you're often in conference rooms or, or um, banquet halls. And so you work with sort of your certainties, the certainties being, okay, I'm gonna be in this room. I can't build a set. I'm only gonna have them for two minutes. All right, what kind of lighting do I want? Do I want moody? Do I want clean and fresh and bright with a white background and crispy? Or do I want dark and black? And then I think about how we're gonna light it. And then I always, you know, I use the same lens as I use a 70 to 200 always, which has a 2.8 f-stop. Mm -hmm. And um, then I choose 2.8, I manually choose 2.8, so that when I sh shoot singles, everything is out of focus. And then, um, and then I shoot them, and I have them turn towards the key. It's never face on. They, I have never shot anybody just square face into the camera. Uh -huh. They are always three quarters turned towards the light. It's the worst if you shoot them straight on. And then I pose them and then I say smile and then again I try to shoot them in between the poses and have them fix, adjust themselves or go like this and usually after they do that they go, they laugh and then that's when I shoot it. So okay on that look point, how do you draw the kind of emotions that you're looking for out of them? Um, I, I always do the look down. That's always a great shot. And then I have them look there, 
and I have them look there, and I, I tell them different points to look at, and um, and usually in between or at one of those spaces, they're not as stiff as they start out to be, and then that's when I that's when it is, and then I joke around with them, and then I make them do that, blow it out, shake it out, and they're like ah, and then they just sort of glance to the side, and that's when I that's that's the moments that you're waiting for, you're just trying to shake it out and have them get relaxed within that five minutes, and then you capture that. Any cool stories come to mind as far as a, a shoot? You know, what's really cool about what I do is, and I guess maybe because I'm a woman, but with these huge iconic figures like A-Rod, or yeah. these NASCAR drivers who are tough, game face guys, hockey players, I can always make them feel a little like boyish and shy, and 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 that's always cool for me. You know, this I, there's a New York Ranger player, Yager, and you know he's like all-time great hockey player, and he just feels like a little boy in front of me. And he's you know there's this in this behind-the-scenes footage that I gave you, he goes like this. They brush his hair, and he just goes, and I just I like feeling. I like getting to know that these players, which are so, like I said, game face and tough, have, you know, this quality that is like in every child that I can capture and, and share with others, and and that's just really nice, you know, because they're just like us, and they're these little shy guys that in front of a girl they feel silly, and I, I just like having that those few moments. That's great. What are some of the biggest challenges you've had to overcome as a photographer? Uh, lighting in a short amount of time and working in, within the limitations. If you have the ability to be creative and say, you know, when I shot the Rangers calendar, they gave me the freedom to take the players anywhere in New York City. And that was like great. I could just think of, oh, I want to shoot under this bridge or I want to shoot on the ice with the Hummer in the background and, and I think we should shoot like up against this this brick wall with spray paint on it. That's that's freedom. But shooting with athletes, you're often given limitations. You're only gonna be in in their locker room and it's a low ceiling, you know, dark place with no props and you have to figure out a way how to make it look beautiful and different and you gotta make it happen. So that's the most, you know, working with the limitations and still making it look great, that's the biggest challenge. Okay, any final advice for viewers who just want to take better pictures? You just got to do what you love. I mean, that's the driving force and just keep taking it and keep taking it and keep taking it and teaching yourself and never stop and, you know, just that's the only way you get better is you just keep shooting and, and do what you love. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us and giving us an inside look into your world of photography. Okay, great. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.